Catherine Ryan has made a very frank confession about her sex life with partner Bobby Kutstra, or the lack of it. The 39-year-old entered into a civil partnership with her childhood sweetheart back in 2019. During a ceremony in Denmark four years ago they made things official, and now she's been chatting out what goes on behind closed doors. The comedian made an eye-catching appearance on Friday's episode of The Chris and Rosie Ramsey. Starring alongside Bobby, she says their two young children make special time a little tricky. Son Fred was born in 2021 with daughter Fina arriving in December. We're 40, we're married and we're very patient with each other, we communicate and we've lived these lives, but we have these FG infants, she joked. I think we're good parents and we're very privileged but it kicks the living ST right out of you. She was then asked how often they did the deed after getting hitched. Not very often, she confessed. I log it because I'm always trying to conceive. Day to day we're back and forth about having more babies. I will never allow him to get the snip. I just really love kids. Look, M40 this year, well see. The hilarious Canadian told Jonathan Ross why she decided against a traditional wedding. It was a lovely day, she told the ITV star. It's perfect having a civil partner. We didn't have a wedding, I didn't need to put on a white dress and pretend to be a virgin, that ship has sailed. Catherine and Bobby rekindled their romance over 20 years after the pair split in their teenage years. They first broke up because Bobby wanted to focus on his sporting career as he played American football when they were together in high school. The pair clearly retained their feelings for one another as their romance is now stronger than ever. They bumped into one another at a pub after two decades in Canada. Catherine spoke about their reunion on The One Show last year. She explained, Bobby, I loved him. He was the quarterback of the American football team at our school and we went to prom together. We split up because he needed to concentrate on football and I was devastated. Then 20 years later I randomly saw him in a pub in Canada and I just loved. I've always loved him. It sounds silly to say but since telling our story people have got in touch and said, I've always loved my high school partner. I feel like your life when it's ahead of you makes very little sense. It's a mystery. But when you look at it in reverse you had intuition about things, 